All right, let's do another video. By the way, it's still morning. Good morning. And then let's do another video on money. Um, this time I want to talk about, again, I, I, I want to stress or, you know, I want to stress the idea that, um, that getting money or making money is not as easy as having a dollar amount. You know what I mean? It's not about having $5 million in your bank account. It, it really isn't. If you think it is, it isn't. There's a lot that goes into it. And I'm just, I'm just speaking from a fresh perspective. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's just not easy. You know what I mean? It's, it's not easy at all. Um, it's, you can't go overnight and have money all of a sudden. And I'll tell you why, because, uh, well, you know, there's a lot of questions that are going to arise. Where'd you get the money from? Did you pay taxes on it? The bank can hold your money too. If the if you have a bank account and you suddenly have $5 million in your account or $10 million or $20 million in your account, the bank is going to ask you where you got that money from. The bank can hold, the bank may hold your account, put your account on hold for up to a year. All right. You may have to wait a year to access those funds. You know what I mean? If you just got money out of nowhere, oh, I got, I got, I, I got twenty million dollars. It doesn't work like that. Getting, you have to. There's so many things that go into it. I, I really don't know everything. I don't know all the stuff that goes into it, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of things that go into having that money and using that money. You know what I mean? Um, just, just slide into so so. Well, we got that out of the way. We got that. Well, what else can we talk about, really? Um, how about for status? Uh, people love having money for status. Now, you know there may be people out there uh, uh, that I don't know of really. There may be people out there who earn their money illegally. Okay, they've earned their money illegally. They've used it to to you know buy property or buy things in other countries or whatnot, you know, to hide their money, right? They, so, so, so they have a lot of money and, and, and they don't know where it's from. Now, typically, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, let's, let's say, let's say there's somebody, they got $20 million, right? They got it stashed in three different countries, like poor countries. And they just went and bought a hotel or, or villas or something like that, right? Now they got their money saved in there. But they've earned their money illegally and nobody really knows them or anything about them. Now, what are they going to do? They're going to go, I'll, I'll tell you, typically, as far as I understand, typically what happens is that these people, uh, you know, they don't really have any status, right? They didn't think about really building that status when they built that money. And they may have gotten, you know, there's so many ways to earn illegal money. You can scam people, you can do insurance fraud, you can go to other countries you can you can gold mine or diamond mine and, and, and use slave labor for it, you know, or, or pay minimum minimum coin. You're very rich now, right? Now this is now I'm telling you. That, well, as far as I know, this is the shocker that comes to people. Well, well, they got all this money just now, and they have all this money saved here, 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 and there. They got the money, but they feel like they have no status. They have absolutely no status. Who do they know? Uh, uh, what organizations are they involved in? And that's when they start spending the money. I'm just telling you, uh, typically, what, then they start spending the money. They spend money to get a seat in an organization. They spend money to become, you know, to, to, to get involved in different kind of projects. You know, now they have to do that in order to get the status. You know what I mean? There, but, but the thing, now, now here's the difference, right? There's, there's two ways. One, you already, like, we're talking about when you already have money. All right. So one way is, is to build status by spending money. So you're usually, you're not you, you're literally trading your money for the option of status, which means you're buying friends, you're buying business partners, you're buying educated people, you're buying universities and colleges and things like that. Right. That's the one. The other way is a genuine way. Now, in my opinion, First of all, if you were born rich and everything, that's fine. That's great, right? Not my situation, not the situation for, for some others, right? In this situation, for us, uh, uh, building all that status and, status and all that stuff, 95, if not 100% of it, comes before even making that money. 
that has to exist before we make that money. You know, we have to know who we each other are. We got to be able to know that we can count on each other and, and that we can work together, um, you know, when there's no money involved, when there's no, you know what I mean? It's not like, you know, it, it's true. If you found some, if you found a way, let's say you had an aunt or an uncle somewhere in Africa and by luck you come upon a gold mine or a diamond mine, you just, you know, build up an unofficial work site, get child labor, get cheap labor, and you know, you're about to come into a lot of money, right? But now you gotta buy all these things for status. You know what I mean? You gotta buy influence, you gotta buy this, buy that. You might remember in casino, a lot of that money was illegal money and he's trying to buy a casino and, he, and he's got licensing companies and all that stuff. And then the cowboys and all the, all the official government officials want him to break his relationship up with his friend who started him in the first place because his friend is a reputable mobster. And that's gonna tarnish their image and his image when dealing with them, right? So, either you're spending for the stat now, you know. Either way, you know that 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 is a reality. You know, some people might be so good at making money, they might be so talented that they make the money, but their their lives are not set up. And once they have the money, it hits them that in order to use this money and have this money, I need to have all these other things in my life. It, it is not as simple as making a dollar amount. There, there's a million things that come with a million dollars. Maybe a million and one things that come with a million dollars. So, so the other, so, 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 so what I would know and what I would understand is to make all those, uh, do all everything, you know, everything starts before the money comes in. You know, before the money starts coming in, everything already starts forming. You know, you form all those things and then the money comes. Now, now, now for a guy like me, to be very honest, uh, and, and, I'll, and I'm being, I'm being totally, totally honest with you, uh, being younger, um, I, I, I didn't really have a mentality that, you know, I know I'm going to be alive in six months. I, I literally didn't. You know what I mean? I just, uh, you know, I, 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 I really thought that death was a, was, a, was a real possibility in a short amount of time. Um, you know what I mean? So, so for me, I wasn't really too keen on, all right, let me save up some money, put a down payment on this, do that, do that. You know what I mean? I really wasn't into that. Um, you know what I mean? Because I didn't really know if I, if I don't know if I'm going to live or die soon, well, what does it really matter? And, 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 and if I'm not going to live or die soon, why don't I live life the way that I want to live it? You know what I mean? At least to a certain extent, right? So everything is already built. You know, you got I got I got all my bones and every everything's already set up, you know, and everything's good. And that's 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 the thing. Like I said, man, you, you know, even if you're rich, you have the option. You can go to a party or, or, or an event where nobody knows you, right? You, you just try this if you're rich. Go to a if if you're rich, no matter how you came into the money, like you, you might have been born rich, whatever the deal is. If you're rich, go to a, an event where nobody knows you. And don't tell them, tell them that, that, that you, you're just, you're not rich at all. You know, oh, I have this much money. What do you drive? Well, I, uh, I grow, uh, you can tell them, well, I took the train here. Uh, by the way, in Dubai, they have a driverless, tra beautiful train. I think it has Wi-Fi and, and, and uh, I'm not sure. I think it has Wi-Fi and, and air conditioning and everything. And it's a driverless train, brand new, amazing looking, right? You know what, it, it takes you straight to the business. They have some kind of business building. I forgot what it's called. Some kind of business tower or something or, or business place. It's called a business building or something like that. It literally takes you to the to the feet of the, uh, to the doorstep, okay? It takes you straight to the Burj Khalifa, right? Right to the Burj Khalifa. It takes you to the largest mall in the world, Dubai Mall, okay? Now, if you're very, very rich, try this. Go to one of those uh, business events, maybe, right? And go there and talk to people and, and tell them, say, I took the train here. And they'll say, why, do you, are you a foreigner? No, no, I live right here. Why would you take the train? Well, what are you driving? Tell them you drive a, a, a C-class Mercedes, okay? Tell them you drive a C-class Mercedes or a lesser class BMW, all right? And and tell them you live in in, a, in one of the apartment buildings in, in downtown Dubai, right? And see how they treat you and see how you get treated. You know what I mean? And just see how that feels. Just, just feel it out. I guarantee you 99% of people are, are in that situation will either won't do it or won't like it. There's going to be 1% of them who are going to do it and go, 
that was one of the most coolest experiences of my life. I found that without mentioning my money, that I got a little bit of respect and I felt good about myself and, uh, and I liked it. All right, that's it for me. All right, we're still in the morning, by the way, so good morning and uh, we'll close this off.